Hey guys, welcome to the new lecture. And in today's session, we are discussing on sensing capabilities and the sensors. I'm your facilitator, Navjot Singh Jadeja, and you are doing a course on Internet of Things for beginners. So as you all know that sensors are a very important building block of the IoT world. So let us understand what a sensor is. A sensor is a device which detects or measures a physical property and responds to it. So if we elaborate the definition a bit more, a sensor detects changes in the ambient conditions or a system and processes the information in a certain specified manner in which it is asked to do. So basically sensors have the capabilities to study and observe the ambient conditions and on the basis of the changes they respond to it. So let us understand them with little bit more example. So one of the example which I have here for sensors is ultrasonic sensors. So basically in terms of industrial application, ultrasonic sensors are characterized by their reliability and outstanding versatility. Also ultrasonic sensors can be used to solve even most complex tasks because they have a very high precision which we can call as millimeter precision also. And more importantly, ultrasonic sensors are preferred because their measuring methods work reliability in all different conditions, which is a very good advantage considering the different types of sensors which are available, which may work in some scenarios, some might not work in other scenarios, whereas ultrasonic sensors work in most of the scenarios. So they are quite reliable. The other sensor which we are going to discuss here as an example is PIR. Yes, it is something which works in the proximity object detection thing. So basically PIR is passive infrared sensor. It is an electronic sensor and it measures infrared light. It uses infrared light to measure an object in the field of its view. Also, they are more used in you know PIR based motion detectors. So these are the applications we are talking about. Now that we know what sensors are, let us understand how sensors work. So let us understand the understand of working of the sensors. So they perform some input function or you can call it as trigger mechanism or feeling the physical changes in the characteristics of a system in a response to a stimuli. So this is more of a technical bookish definition. If we were to break it down with an example, so here it is. Let us understand there is a heat sensor, a temperature sensor. So example is heat is converted to electrical signals in a temperature sensor or atmospheric pressure is converted to electrical signal in a barometer. So if you take an example of your air condition, which senses the room temperature to be 30 and stimulates itself to turn it on again till the room temperature goes to 28, which is you have set as in the minimum room temperature. So this is how the sensors work in the background. So they have the you know ambient values getting read. Once they read a value which is uh, a change to the regular one, it triggers a mechanism which is programmed with it. Also, there are similar concepts in uh, electrical, which is known as transducers. So transducers convert or transduce energy of one kind into another. So example is, you know, a sound system where a microphone is used to convert the sound wave into electrical signal, which goes to amplifier, amplifier processes it, broadcasts it to a larger level. And then the loudspeaker, which are output devices, converts again this uh, electrical signals back to sound waves. So these are transducers, but sensors and transducers are different word transducer is collective term used for sensors and actuators and as i told you earlier in the session also we will be discussing actuators and actuating in a separate session uh, after this so when we are talking about transducers they are combination of sensors and actuators whereas sensors only just read the value and accordingly act what are the features of the sensors? So it is only sensitive to the measured property. So if you do realize the temperature sensor is not reading the pressure value or humidity value. So basically sensors are sensitive to the measured property only. 
and that's the example we have here a temperature sensor senses the ambient temperature of a room not the pressure or the humidity and it will be insensitive to other all parameters so these are the features of the sensors now if we talk about the classes of the sensors this is very important for you to know because uh, furthermore in the course you will be using different types of sensors also once you get along in the iot world you should be knowing this difference in order to use different kinds of sensors so based on the output we have two types of sensors one is analog other is digital so analog sensors are the one where you are getting the output values in a continuous form analog form right like you can say temperature sensor you get the values in a continuous form other is digital sensor so you are getting the values in either one zero on and off and similar classes then it is known as a digital output based sensor when we talk about the data type again we have two different kinds of sensors we have scalar wherein the values only include the values right whereas vector also includes the direction so they are the more mechanical ones so these are the different classes of sensors which you will encounter in the world of iot going further this is a broad list of different types of sensors which you should be knowing uh, we would be using few of them as in the practical for you to do it others you can try out at your own convenience so we have different types of sensors for rain we have pir sensor in here we have water flow sensor we have infrared receiver we have gas sensor color sensor proximity sensor ultrasonic sensor is also there we have soil moisture sensor so based on different applications let's say you are using it in agriculture you need soil uh, moisture sensor you need thermal uh, sensors you need uh, humidity sensors you also can be using phototransistors there if you are talking about smart watches you have heartbeat sensors you have uh, moisture sensors and different types of sensors and different devices so this is the introduction to sensors and their sensing capabilities in the next lecture we will be discussing on actuators and actuating capabilities so i hope you had a good time see you in the next lecture